welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a medium tutorial in which we will show you how to utilize concentrated mass elements to simulate loads in ANSYS Classic. As usual, we will begin with the ANSYS, AP, uh, with the ANSYS uh, interface. The first thing we will do is go to preprocessor and we will follow the instruction uh, tree on the left. So we will begin by creating a shell a uh, shell element or like a like a metal plate in which on which we will put this uh, distributed or concentrated mass element and will simulate the whole the whole thing so first we're going to find the element type 1 is 181 we're going to find first the characteristics of the plate and, and model it we don't have real constants for the material property we have material property density for the element 1 7800 7, kilogram per cubic meter material properties EX Young's modulus for material 1 2.1 E11 and my private property PRXY for material 1 0 0.3 PRXY 1 0 0.3 so we have the material properties defined we have the real constants defined and we have the element types defined. What we need to do is the section information. So we're going to say to define a sec type number one shell. We're going to define the sec data. It's going to be three divided by a thousand millimeters. We have all the properties for the shell. Now we're going to define it by a rectangle command with zero comma a hundred divided by a thousand. 0, 100 divided by a thousand. We're gonna apply the properties to these shells. So it's gonna be area attributes, material number one, no real constant, type one, no E section, section one, element system now, and then section one. Now we're gonna do an element size one divided by a thousand, element size one. 1 divided by a thousand and we're gonna do an a mesh comma o we have this uh, we have the, the plate meshed so now we have to create the, the concentrated mass to create the concentrated mass what we have to do is well we have to first define the element type it's gonna be done with element type edit delete add and we have to look for mass elements which are thermal mass, no magnetic, no. Well, have, I am not completely sure what those masses are, so I have to look for them. Contact, no. Gasket, no. Thermal mass, no. We have a mass 21, which is the element type. Thermal mass, no, 71 is not the one that we're interested in. Should be able to find it pretty easily, and if not, you can just define it or just define it as 21. I'll show you because I'm not exactly sure where you can find that one on the menu. Element type number 2, 21. Now, when you go to add the delete, you see mass 21 is the second, is the 20, is the second type of element. The real constant, constants, interpret masses and inertia. You can put volumes and densities. There's different options. So we get out of here. We go to real constants, as a lead lead, add for the mass 21 properties. So it depends on what unit you're working. We're working on the international international system. So the mass is going to be on kilograms. We're going to put 10, 10, and 10 on each one of the directions. You can have different masses on each direction. So what we need to do is mass on each direction, 10, 10, 10. Hit OK. So now to define this, uh, this mass 21, we got to do a procedure on which we have to select create a node, then assign an element to that node on a certain position. So what we'll do is we'll tilt this. We're gonna do a key work plane offset work plane to key point cav w p a v a comma pick. We select both of these key point 
point key point and the working plane is going to be on that particular point we're going to do then work plane offset by 20 divided by a thousand millimeters it's going to be up there and we're going to change the coordinate system to the local coordinate system with cc is 4 we have this coordinate system is 4 so now we're going to create a node on that and comma pick and, and enter and we're going to create a node on the origin of our coordinate system we we can tilt this more so we can actually see that particular node and now we're going to change the type of element to number two and the real constant to number one it's fine we're going to do an e comma pick we're going to select that element the node we're going to create the mass element actually if you look at the element plot you'll see that the mass elements are look like little dots on the air okay so now we have to anchor this element so we're going to get on top of this on the view on, the, on this view and we're going to apply a const coupling and constraint we're going to use a rigid region there's different types we can do couples of degrees of freedoms and other stuff but we're going to use a rigid region right now uh, the master node okay we're going to have to tilt this a little bit to pick the first node rigid region that particular node and now we have to select the ones where we're going to link this node so we're going to select them sorry we're going to select a box and it's going to be this node don't select too many because then you have problems with the model it's going to go a little bit slower we want to select all the translations they're going to be mm, coupled the degrees are going to be coupled we hit ok and you'll see that ANSYS starts connecting your your mass node to all of these selected nodes as I told you if you select everything you'll have a lot of constraints and the simulation time will be much higher so I'm not gonna go with DK comma P I'm gonna select all the four key points on the corners all of the degrees of freedom you know zero I'm gonna restrain the key points on the corners now I'm gonna tilt this so actually we look actually to what we have here and what we have is the mass linked to this with this height and we're gonna put a 9.81 acceleration on the gravitational acceleration so all cell solo solve we have one warning we can ignore the little warning so the solution is done so now, now plus one pln solve we'll zoom you zoom and as you can see there's a big displacement on this on the center of the plate and it's not symmetrical it's de determined by the mass we can actually do a pill effect that u you see that actually the mass presents a displacement which makes sense and displacement is equal to the middle displacement on the center and we can also plot the equivalent stress of the misses which is a little bit where the mass connects to the table but it's obviously more visible where the table is hooked onto the restrainment so now we're gonna quit and now you know how you can simulate a concentrated mass to simulate different components in a simple weight on analysis simulation I would like to thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoyed this presentation for more tutorials please visit our community and follow us on the social media